Hi, y'all. Okay, we have two more episodes before the season ends for the Empire. And they have dropped some bombshells, but tonight was nuclear fire. They did not disappoint with the drama. The show opened with Andre visiting his grandmother in the home where Lucius had her secretly tucked away. <laughs> and so Andre is there and she's playing bingo. And things didn't go her way. So she went ballistic over a damn bingo game. That should have been a forewarning to Andre that she needs to be kept in a controlled environment. <laughs> then we move on to Cookie and Lucius having their typical exchanges, playfully sometimes and sometimes not. They get more on serious notes on occasion. And Cookie, she walked... She was going somewhere. I forgot where she was walking with some folks behind her. I can't even recall who was behind her. But I mean, Cookie walks like she owns wherever she steps. She got an ownership walk. Woo! Hold it down, girl. And Thursday, okay, he's in the car with Hopper, the reporter. And she says something like, what you going to do, kill me? And he says something to her to the effect. Now, I'm too much of a gentleman to do something like that. And she did mention something about a camera being out there. Next thing we know, he stops the car and some goons come out of the shadows or wherever. They snatch her up. Her high heel, one of her high heels flies off, hits the sidewalk. She has been officially abducted. But the camera that she mentioned may have captured the action of her kidnapping. And Thirsty may be getting thirstier, but not in a good way for him. We shall see. Then we go into the issue with Tiana having a little meeting with Hakeem after they had their duet. And she is still feeling Hakeem. And I believe there is an inkling that he is still feeling some measures of her. Now where that's going to go, we just don't know. But Laura, she knows that Tiana is still feeling her boo. She has told her king that she knows, and she doesn't trust Tiana. So what Laura needs to do is step up her game. That good two-shoes, Pollyanna attitude ain't going to cut it with that vicious Miss Tiana. So she better recognize she needs to get kind of cutthroat to deal with that sister girl. And then if Hakeem is still feeling her, that's another chapter in the damn book she has to contend with. Woo! Okay, now we got damn Jamal. I think Jamal is a hoe. Because <laughs> now he done fucked another damn man on the show. And this dude, his ass looks shady. He looks like he, he ain't up to some good things. I don't know what his angle is, but I don't trust the new lover boy. And they done had some rough sex action going on. Come to find out he on the down low in the closet. He don't want to be exposed. And Jamal called him out and pretty much dismissed him. Then later on during the show, <laughs> Jamal invited dude back over to the crib. So what the hell is Jamal doing? I don't think he even knows some damn time. He needs to get himself straight. And that dude, I don't think he is going to bode well for what's going on with Jamal and his musical uh, uh, transactions. And lo and behold, we got Rhonda, who is having flashbacks about her at the bottom of the steps and somebody putting hands on her. And the red bottom shoe was going out the door. And Boo Boo Kitty sits beside her on the sofa crosses her legs, and there go the red bottom shoe reveals. And Rhonda did not miss the observation, and her mind is clicking, and her eyes had that look like, your ass pushed me down them damn steps, girl. So we don't know what's going to happen. We may have to wait until next season to find out how that's going to unfold. Woo, she better not say too much <clears throat> while she just did with 
Boo Boo Kitty, because Boo Boo Kitty might cook up some shit, and she might not be excellent. Miss Ron, she better play her cards right, because uh, if it doesn't, the jungle going to be wild, and Boo Boo Kitty's name is on the card. <laughs> Help her, help her, help her. Anyhow, okay, so now, well, I love when the family gets together, the Lion family gets together and have um, have unity. And they were singing and Jamal can sing and the, the, the brothers were singing and Lucius was blowing. Playing that piano, you go, play that piano, man. Woo! I love that scene. And Cookie on the sideline, taking it all in, enjoying her family. And then we got to go... The mama, she done moved in with Lucius. First she was going with Rhonda and Andre, and then she wanted to go home with the white, she said. And Lucius, in an unwise move, did not put her back in her controlled environment and let her go with him to his place. He told the help lady to keep her eye on her. Don't let her out of her sight. Next thing we know, Mama done baked up a whole slew of cakes, set them on the table. She got a knife in hand. Lucius comes out with a do-rag, <laughs> sits down at the table, eating cake. We don't know if Mama put some, in, some things in the cake or not, but we do know she is armed and Lucius ain't. He needs to get something in his hand and had the phone in the other hand calling 9 damn one one because Mama is bugging and the cheese has shown sure enough slid off her crackers. Oh, he should have put her back where she was. And then we got the drama with the dude, the two sisters, Carl and the other sister, I forgot her name, and, uh, the other sister, they were having a discussion in the restaurant. And we got the dude on the side, ear hustling. So they have an ear hustle in the midst and heard what the confession was out of Carl's mouth to her sister about her being in cahoots with Lucius in the murder situations. And he worked for the damn FBI. And later on, he sees Carl at a bar, and he talks to her, wants to kind of, kind of like call her up to her, putting her in a trick bag, of course. And she, right now, don't seem like she's wise to, to FBI duty, but she better get wise quick, fast, and in a daggone hurry, because he sure got things out for the Lion family. She's in the master plan to get them hung back up in the criminal enterprise. So now, we have to wait and see what happens with that, but the previews did show the cookie knows he's with the feds because she said so to him. So that's already out. And this triangle going on with Hakeem and Tiana and Laura. And then we've got Ho Jamal with another man, lover boy, who don't look like he's worth a damn as far as the trust factor is concerned. So we don't know what's going to go on with that. But the bombshell, of course, is the the red shoe reveal, that is going to be something else hitting the fan. That shit is going to jump off, and it is going to be huge. So anyway, I think that's about all. Oh, but this see in the previews where, oh, yeah, before I say that, Portia was talking to Carl sitting at the table, and she said something to Carl about she would be jealous, and then she said something else to Carl. I didn't catch what she said. And Carl had this disturbed look on her face when Portia got up and walked away. So I'm trying to figure out what kind of strategy Portia has going on. Because she seems like she's scheming. I don't know if she's scheming against Cookie or for Cookie or what the hell is going on with Portia. And also in the previews it shows that Lucius had his throat, had, had his hand at Jamal's throat in a threatening way he was talking to him. What in the world happened in that short amount of time that they had the family, the happy family sing-along that has him at Jamal's throat? What the hell is going on with that shit? We have to wait and find out. So thank y'all for listening. Stay tuned for more nuclear action on the Empire. Thank y'all for listening. Bye now.